The All Progressive Congress APC is in total chaos as the presidential election tribunal is set to rule on the suit seeking the disqualification of Tinubu as the president of Nigeria over failure to get 25% of the votes in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, in the February presidential election. According to Section 134 of the Constitution, it states that a candidate for an election to the office of the president shall be deemed to have been duly elected, where there being more than two candidates for the election A, he has the highest number of votes cast at the election, and B, he has not less than a quarter of the votes cast at the election, each of at least two-thirds of all the states in the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. President Tinubu, while responding to this, has begged the tribunal not to disqualify him, warning that any move to disqualify him on account of 25% of votes in the FCT will lead to anarchy and chaos. He secured only 19% of votes cast in the FCT, while P2B secured about 59% of the votes. Checking out the reactions of Twitter users, a user by the ID Nefertiti tweeted and said, 25% in FCT is not P2B's only prayer. Tinubu has perjury, certificate forgery, drug trafficking, and money laundering cases as well. The law is the law. Chaos and anarchy are empty threats. The judges must do the right thing, leave the rest to Nigerians. Another user by the ID Omotayo Williams tweeted and said, Tinubu will be sacked by the tribunal. The level of celebration the nation will witness will be more than how Nigerians celebrated the death of Abacha. The celebrations for his sack will significantly support the celebration for his victory. Then you will see Tinubu was the last. Ever since Tinubu emerged as the president, the seat has been a very hot seat for him. His declaration by INEC as the president was accompanied by heavy resistance from a large majority of the population mostly from the youth over high-level voter malpractice by the APC. The result was challenged by his primary opponent, Atiku Abubakar of the PDP and P2B of the Labour Party, seeking to nullify his victory on the ground of drug trafficking offence committed in the United States, double nomination of Shetima as his vice presidential candidate, widespread voter malpractice, inability to secure 25% of votes in the FCT, and some other grounds. What will be the outcome now lies on the judges. Inasmuch as the youth are very much optimistic about the judgment, it's a well-known fact that in this country, we don't have independence of the judiciary. The judiciary is always directly or indirectly influenced by the government. We will then have the goal to do the needful. This question will actually be answered by the judgment they will give. The judiciary can actually get the Nigerian people to believe in it again as the last hope of the common man if it can have the temerity to give the right judgment without fear or favor. Let's all watch and see how it goes. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.